It's already June. Everything is growing so fast. This is the last chance for flowers, like these yellow archangels, to show before they're swamped by grasses. I'm lucky to have these hay meadows around the village, and when they're not cut or grazed too soon in the summer, there's one very special bird that benefits from them. The barn owl. June is one of the best months to see them. When they've got big chicks to feed, they're forced to hunt in daylight because the nights are so short. They're looking for field voles, their main prey, that thrive in these undisturbed forests of grass. Despite their large eyes, barn owls hunt mainly by sound, as they can't see through this dense vegetation. Their wing feathers are specially adapted to make no noise through the air and this gives them a totally silent approach. They can pick up the faintest rustle or squeak of a vole. I found they were always more successful on calm days, which is better for me too, to get smooth flight shots. No luck that time. Even when they're on target, the long grass often gets in the way. This time it's caught one. Carrying the vol torpedo style to reduce the wind resistance, the owl has quite a way to carry its load back to the nest. This anxious blackbird must have a nest nearby as well. These owls have had to get quite used to people. I got these shots by sitting really still, just behind one of the gravestones. Thanks to a kind neighbour, I'm finally able to do something I've always wanted to try. By very gradually cutting a small hole in the attic wall, I can film inside the nest. There are five big youngsters. No wonder the parents are out so much in broad daylight. The chicks are all different sizes, because unlike most birds, the female starts incubating as soon as she's laid her first egg. If there's a shortage of voles later, only the strongest will survive. They can hear me sometimes. They're so used to people moving around in the house that I don't think I bother them too much. It's so worth all the cramped hours in a stuffy loft for this incredible view of them. To be this close to wild owls. 